If you ever thought about getting into game development, you've most likely come across the two most dominant engines in the game industry, Unreal Engine and Unity. There used to be a time when one could easily tell each engine apart simply by looking at a game. Both had their own look, for good and bad. However, nowadays, it's getting harder and harder to visually distinguish between the two. And with the recent unveiling of Unreal 5 and Unity 2020 in beta and LTS on the way, many potential game developers are now asking the question, which game engine should I choose to learn and create my first game? Even experienced game developers and designers who in some cases have worked with either engine for years are now finding themselves at a crossroad of deciding whether to learn a new engine or staying faithful to the one they know. But how do Unity 2020 and the Unreal Engine 5 compare? What are the differences between them? Is one better than the other? And if so, why? Well, that's exactly what we're here to answer. Let's finally end the debate and see which engine will come out on top. Unreal 5 vs Unity 2020 Round 1 This will be a two-round fight. Round 1 will be divided into categories, giving points by judging each software fairly by the merits and facts that have been released on the future versions of their respective engines. We also use the current state of the engines as a baseline when it comes to facts that haven't been expressly stated or released to the public. Round 2 will focus mainly on how each respective engine will work best for you or your team based on several factors which will be explained in detail in the second part of this series. We'll explain each category after a brief introduction of our combatants. Unreal Engine Unreal Engine by Epic Games is considered one of the most popular and widely used game engines in the AAA market space. Originally released in 1998, for the past 22 years, it has continued to not only improve, but innovate and create new standards in regard to how a game engine should function and what it should include. Significantly restructuring their engine when compared to its Unreal 3 forefather, Unreal 4 made many noteworthy changes such as implementing a commonly known programming language in the form of C++, expanding the capabilities of its visual scripting tools, vastly improving its user interface, creating detailed, easy-to-understand documentation in regards to its engine, and cultivating a community of developers around its engine. The engine behind many of this year's best-selling titles such as Fortnite, Mortal Kombat, the Final Fantasy VII Remake, Dragon Ball Fighter Z, and many more, Epic's Unreal Engine has continued to dominate the AAA market, and with their recent announcement and showcase of Unreal 5, doesn't seem to be stopping anytime soon. However, Unreal 5 seeks to not only continue this trend of making the Unreal Engine the go-to engine for not only AAA games, but independent games as well. Unity Engine Originally released in 2005, Unity Game Engine quickly rose to prominence, and by the middle of that decade, Unity was already one of the most popular game engines in the world and is now widely considered the engine of choice for not only indies and small game studios, but large mobile studios as well. And with best-selling titles such as Hearthstone, Cuphead, Pokemon Go, and many more, Unity has proven time and time again that their engine can empower even small developers to make large hit games. Originally regarded as the go-to engine for lower-end performance platforms such as mobile phones, tablets, and web players, over the recent years, the Unity engine has continued to improve and advance and has proven it's able to accommodate more ambitious projects such as Ori and the Blind Forest, Battle Chasers, Wasteland 3, and Escape from Tarkov, just to name a few. And with the 2018 release of their HD and scriptable render pipeline, Unity has proven it can deliver high-quality graphics and should no longer be considered simply as the engine of choice for low graphics performance platforms, but for console and PC games as well. 
And with the recent announcements, showcase, alpha, and beta releases of Unity 2020, Unity seems to be looking to double down on its engine's capabilities to create next-gen console and PC games. The categories for round one are graphics, physics, programming, features and tools, learning curve and ease of use, and cost and royalties. A quick disclaimer before we begin. While many of us here currently use Unity in both our personal and professional work, we also not only know, but use Unreal as well. In fact, many of us began our journey in game development with Unreal Development Kit years ago. So we hold both Unity and Unreal in high regards, since both were and are very influential to our careers, past and present. Who do you think will win? Unity 2020 or Unreal 5? Let us know in the comments below. 